It looks like absolutely nothing has been done since this place originally got torn apart. Our trap still torn apart. Our wall still partially missing. Ceiling still missing. All that stuff's still everywhere. It's fucked. Another day at the shop. More copper gasket spray. Exhaust about to go on. Fluid's about to go in. The car might start today. A nine inch attached to a six inch. That should probably do the trick to tighten this exhaust. Got oil filled up in my rotor shaped oil cap. That's cute. Time to put some coolant in. Then do a last double check and try to start my car. And hope it doesn't explode. Now is check over time. I already found my O2 sensor for my wideband is not plugged in. We'll have to plug that in still. Turbo oil lines are on. Some coolant is in, that's not the most important thing right now. Belts are on. Hard to see, injectors are plugged in, fuel is hooked up. Alternator hooked up. All of these are plugged in where they need to be. Spark plugs, all four are good. Coil packs are good. All my intercooler piping is good. I think we're about ready to try it. After I put my O2 sensor in, let's do it. Now that's fancy. An overpriced O2 sensor. There's only one thing left to do. Go in here. Hook up my battery, which is not shit. Bullshit in here. Looks good. Battery goes there. Don't know how to mount it yet. That's the last project. Let's grab the battery. Here we go. Got this fancy AGM battery. What side goes on first? Negative? I don't know. Ground this bitch. Looks good. Power in this bitch. Okay. I need to bolt it down first. Probably now, that's probably good. Guess here goes the moment of truth. Pretty nervous right now. Pretty nervous. Kill switch is on. Clutch pushed in. Nothing's powering up. Well, time to figure out why I got no power. Just had to flip one of my circuit breakers. Now it's time to be nervous again. Kick some of these panels out of the way. Key. Oh no. No, oh, these lights are turning on. That light's on. Hmm. Time to investigate more. Well, it's beeping. That's gotta be somewhat of a good sign. Nothing from the starter. I probably fucked something up. So I have power to the body body harness, but no power to the engine harness. Don't know why. Definitely not an expert, so that doesn't help. So it's time to tear into shit some more. Well, this is frustrating. There's no power going to my ECU. Everything looks fine. I don't know what to do. 
making progress again. This time the ECU had some power to it. Don't know what I did different. Plugged one thing in actually, so I did do something different. Let's see if this works. I'm nervous. Well, it's cranking. Maybe I should get some gas. Okay, one more. That's my car trying to start after not running for a few months. Kind of a weak video today, but I was just missing one wire by the starter. That's all it was. Apparently an important wire because it was making my car not start or get any power. Figured it out. Car started, but it's 100% out of gas. So it didn't really stay running for long. Now I gotta clean up this whole mess. I'd also like to find a better way to mount this Haltech. Right there is not a bad place, but it's not bolted down or anything, so I should probably figure that out. And my wideband controller thing too. And maybe get rid of a lot of these wires, or clean them up, put them somewhere out of the way. Got my HVAC intake system on. Fits pretty good. Good enough until I find something else that I feel like spending money on. Sick. I have many different color silicone couplers. Should probably replace those because they look uh, like they were made when this car was made in 1989. That's real gritty though. There's a nice new AN fitting. One that doesn't leak this time. One of the coolest things on my car is this ARC cap. Wish the sticker was a little more new looking, but whatever. Sick coil radiator. Sick coil radiator bear. More sick gritty stuff. Gritty turbo. Gritty exhaust manifold. Still need to mount this harness, but I got a harness. I also need to either put a radiator in or get a delete panel, both of which I have. Just don't know which one I want. Can't forget about my sick pivot gauges and my overpriced Heltec wideband that's not mounted, just hanging out there. And this sick pivot gauge also. Front wheels are going in. Pretty hard to do one handed, so I'm not going to do it one handed. Turn it on for two seconds, and one of my work wheels falls on its face. Wheels are back on. My coat hanger, exhaust hanger setup broke though, so can't put my car back in there now because I gotta fix that still. Looking good though.